Uh, let me try that again. What's up, y'all? Uh, uh, yeah, so, all right, YouTube's down. That's, oh well. Uh, so I'm thinking, you know, what to do? Just uh, delay the stream, delay the build, do it later, but I kind of want to get this thing built. I got other stuff to do, so uh, I guess it's going to be basically like a, a Twitch exclusive. So even though it's not streaming on YouTube now, is it somewhere being recorded for people to be able to watch the playback on YouTube later? I'm thinking probably not. I'm thinking it's probably just screwed on YouTube, <laughs> but uh, oh well. And I was almost not going to live stream build this kit, but then I thought, oh, it's a Death Scythe. A lot of Death Scythe fans out there, probably a lot of people are going to want to see this. So um, it's a shame that it won't be able to be on YouTube. Let me turn that down for you. Sorry, guys. Um, so uh, hopefully you guys got the message on YouTube and uh, you're watching either on Facebook or on Twitch. And uh, thank you for doing so. As always, show some love on Twitch, I guess, because <laughs> that's what uh, it's going to be our primary platform for today. I know there's some people who watch on YouTube as well too, but it's mostly going to be Twitch, I'd assume. So let's get to it. You guys will see in the unboxing review video for this later. Uh, there's two manuals for this. You have just the regular Death Scythe, the EW manual, and then you have an extra manual, which is basically just for building the backpack. So. We'll get to that basically at the end. We can start off with uh, man today. Today is cursed. So first of all, just like in the morning and generally even before I got here, I was just like not in a really good mood. And then I got here and before starting the stream, I wanted to get some painting done or some priming done uh, to be precise. And uh, I was having problems with my airbrush. Uh, it wasn't spraying right, and I uh, couldn't figure out. Well, I was pretty sure I knew what the problem was. Uh, and after messing with it for a long time and hard, like, getting like, I was hoping to get like a bunch of parts all primed and got like half or less than half of what I, what I wanted to get done because of trying to mess around with what was going on with my airbrush. So ended up uh, the problem. Uh, the problem that what was wrong with my airbrush ended up being exactly what I thought it was. There was a little bit of something stuck in uh, stuck in there, and so it was like not spraying properly. So at first, I thought my uh, I thought it's either that or my primer is not thinned enough. It's still a little bit too thick, and that's why it's not spraying properly. So I add a little bit more thinner, and then it's like splattering. So I know that that's the problem. Something's clogged in there, and what I use like after uh, was like after spraying just to clean up my airbrush real quickly when I'm not like doing like an actual like, proper deep clean or something just a quick cleaning I just use thinner and uh, uh, tissue like a toilet paper basically a tissue in there uh, just to wipe it down inside the cup and all that and sometimes what can happen is that like you get like a, just a little tiny bit of tissue paper down there in the in the nozzle. And that's what it was. Later I found out that I finally got it out of there and there was a tiny little piece of tissue in there. And it, it's small, but it's enough to, you know, block the paint from flowing smoothly. So I had some problems with that. That's annoying and didn't get hardly anything, anything done with that. And now YouTube's not working. Well, that's good. So that explains like while I was spraying, I was trying to listen to some news on, on YouTube and the video wasn't playing. So I just was like ignoring it because I was busy with the airbrush. Uh, but I was like, I had my phone next to me and I just saw like it just like spinning, 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 buffering, nothing playing. I'm like, hmm, is there a problem with the internet? Speaking of the internet, let me know, let me go, let me, let me know you guys if the video quality I mean I know you're not seeing on YouTube so it could be different on YouTube but you know those of you guys who generally watch on Twitch I guess uh, is the video quality better today uh, I actually have my computer hooked up to a Ethernet LAN cable uh, today instead usually I always just use the Wi-Fi is good enough but uh, 
people were uh, were saying that you know sometimes the video kind of freezes up or something, and it's just me. Usually when it's just me, the the problem's not that bad. Uh, it's when I'm streaming like with uh, Adam or with Josh or with multiple people is when it kind of gets sketchy. But uh, if you guys notice any video quality being better today, it looks I like I think the video quality looks better today as far as I can see. But I don't know, maybe. Do you guys notice a difference? Maybe it's because there's no nothing being streamed to YouTube, so like it looks better. But I don't know, or maybe it's because it's actually hooked up uh, and not on Wi-Fi. So I guess there you go. You guys are saying that it looks good, it looks better. So cool. All right. Well, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. And another point of uh, good news for you guys if you like Master Grade Wing Kits. Uh, I, after preparing this kit, I thought, I really need to get around to building some other, couple other Master Grade Wing Kits that I have just sitting at home in my backlog. So I decided next week is gonna, wait, wait, next, next week, I need to point to the right camera. Next week is gonna be Wing Week, uh, where I'm going to build a couple of other Master Grade uh, wing kits. I've got the Death Scythe Hell, or no, 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 sorry. Uh, the Heavy Arms Custom, the Heavy Arms Custom EW, whatever, the P Bandai one, the Endless Waltz version, and the Ultron Gundam, also the Endless Waltz version, with the big Extendo Dragon Arms. I guess they all kind of have that, but the Endless Waltz version of the Heavy Arms Custom and the Ultron. Got those two kits, and then if we can get to it, Next week, I mean, I'll also build it. I don't know if I'll get to all three in one week, because three big Master Grade kits, but um, also got the Fenicia Renishita Alba, which is te not technically wing, it's build fighters, but it's based on the wings, so. Um, that's one also. People have been asking me to review, even though the the Alba is hardly different from the Fenicia Renishita Master Grade kit, um, there are a few different parts, and people still ask me to see the review of that kit, even though it's, and when people ask, I say, just watch the review of the Renishita kit. It's like the same kit, but people still want to see the Alba, so okay. I'll just throw that in there in Wing Week as well, too. Those are all the Wing kits that I have, aside from this one, so... Uh, I think, yeah, basically. So yeah, Wee Wee next week. Wing Week. Uh, so everyone get your Wee Wees ready. And so that'll be fun. Yeah, there's a lot of other stuff, obviously, to build, but those kits have been waiting, so I figure mine as well. And also, because the uh, the new Verkha is coming out, right? That was the other reason I forgot. Uh, the other reason is because the new Wing Verkha kit is coming, so I thought, let's have a Wing Week, build a bunch of Wing Master Grade kits, and uh, then we'll have a new one to build as well, too. So Let's get down to biz here on this guy, shall we? How are you guys all doing this morning? Hopefully you're having a, a better morning or day, whatever time it is. Hopefully you're having a better time than I am this morning, but... Uh, building a cool kit is always uh, something to make you feel a little bit better, right? So I think I'll be, f I'll be feeling better once we get this guy built up. I'm feeling a bit cold, actually, at the moment, but it's because I opened my door. Uh, and so it's a little bit cold outside. Um, because of the thinner smell. Uh, once I figured out what the problem was with the airbrush, I wanted to give it a little bit more proper cleaning. It's still not like a super deep clean, but I pulled out all the parts and was cleaning the parts and everything, just cleaning everything down with some thinner and all that, so it's kind of stinky in here. So I opened the window, now I'm feeling like chilly, so. I go close that here in a minute. Where's um, the neck piece? Uh, there you are. Um, so I, th I better, uh, there's a nub mark that I missed as well too. I better throw up a message over there on uh, YouTube again, just to let anyone know who's in there like, what's going on in here? Oh yeah, someone is, uh, thank you, Penguin Plays. Thank you for uh, throwing the heads up to the people there on YouTube, appreciate that. Let them know that uh, it's not working to head to Twitch. Some people were saying that they can't watch on Twitch. Is like, do you have to like make a Twitch account to watch on Twitch? I didn't think so. You can like 
to comment and stuff, I would assume that you would, but just to watch, you should be able to watch like without an account. Is is that true or maybe not? Maybe not. maybe that's not right actually. Um I don't know. Uh Uh, it's Michael. So, yeah, people on on YouTube are wondering if it's just if it's just them or if YouTube's down. Yeah. Shit. God, no, this day it keeps getting worse. Uh, I just spilled my protein shake. Damn. I'm not worried about like, oh no, my protein shake's just like making a mess. And that just reminded me. That's kind of funny. Just last night I was watching the Saturday Night Live sketch, um, with the who's the guy the. The family guy, guy, he was the guest, hang on. It's the sketch where they're at, uh, god damn, today sucks. <laughs> Seth MacFarlane, yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking that, but I was thinking that with the same name. I think I always get that him confused. Seth MacFarlane and who's the other? Seth Green. Yeah, that, I get them confused. I was think uh, my first thought was Seth MacFarlane. I thought, no, that's that ginger guy. But no, okay. So a little protein shake all over the manual. No big deal, I guess. Not a great loss. A little protein shake on the base of my mic, but not on any electronics, thankfully. And. Uh, Some protein shake kind of all over my action base, so I'm gonna have to wash that down later. Anyway, it was the Saturday Night Live sketch with uh, Seth MacFarlane, uh, and Oh, I can't, what's the name of it? They're at a restaurant, and the point is they keep saying like, and I'm all like, <laughs> oh, listen to me laugh. I'm all like, <laughs> they keep doing that. You guys know the sketch I'm talking about? I think it's like, it's called, I'm on like a blind date or something like that. It's a blind date, anyway. Look it up. It's all just a few minutes long. Look it up. Oh, well, I get the YouTube's down. I guess you can't. Is you is it working on YouTube now? Is YouTube back? Uh, Dianjo, okay, uh, Dianjo is maybe just uh, posting a super chat there on YouTube, even though nothing's streaming on YouTube. Uh, Dianjo, I appreciate that. Damn. And that box of tissues is empty. Luckily, I have another box. Very cool day. Um, ah. Need something to put this, all these fucking Protein shake soaked tissues in. And fortunately, fortunately, it's also under my cutting mat as well, too. So that's, that's good. And fortunately, Protein shake is like really not fucking easy to clean up. Because it's just like soupy on oh, a fucking desk. Damn. I think after this, I'm just gonna like go home and take a nap. <laughs> I don't want. I feel like Garfield on a Monday, you know what I mean? I need some wet tissue or something like that. Hang on, guys. Ah. 
right. Speaking of Garfield on a Monday and also Saturday Night Live, there's a series of Saturday Night Live sketches that I really enjoy. Uh, I don't know what's the... Uh, it's like a Firing at Best Buy. There's like three different ones. There's Firing at Best Buy, Firing at McDonald's, and uh, Firing at Barnes & Noble. Where it's... I don't know the actors uh, in those particular skits. I can't remember the name, the guy's name, and the girl is the woman's, I think, Cicely Strong, is that right? Anyway, you guys know the, uh, you guys know the, uh, firing sketches that I'm talking about? Where basically, like, they're having a staff meeting there, and they're like, the boss is like, alright, we're having a staff meeting because we've got to let someone go, and the, the two of them come out and start just going wild and, like, making fun of everyone, they're like, well, if you're... If, if we're getting fired, if we're going out, then we're going out on top. And they just start making fun of everyone, just like saying how much they hate everyone else working there and stuff. And they're talking about one guy. Uh, I think it's Beck who they're talking about. And uh, like, why are you always have, why are your, why is your mouth always orange? Like, did you just eat Cheetos or something? And it's like, no. Doritos? No. And he's like, why do you look like you, uh, something like, you look like you've been face. I don't know what's the line? I don't know exactly, but something about like you look like you've been face deep in Garf on Garfield's balls or something like that. Something about Garfield, and then like the and then she's like, yeah, it's a Monday. Like they're like, leave that cat alone. It's a Monday, and I feel like it's such like a throwaway line that like if you're not really that familiar with Garfield, you wouldn't have really got the uh, like the Monday line in there as well too because it's just like a really quick like I said it's like throwaway line that's just like really fast if you wouldn't you just wouldn't notice but being someone who read Garfield comics a lot when I was really young I thought that was pretty funny quite the Monday we're having here on a Thursday as well too so now that uh, the great Spill of uh, today. What's today? The great spill of November 12th is all cleaned up. We can, uh, I guess, move on with this build then finally. Can we? That'd be good. Ah. Uh. All right, so that goes down into here and it's supposed to click into place, but someone's not clicking. What the hell is supposed to click? There's nothing in there. Uh. I like all the storytelling happening today, but it's, it's not so much storytelling, I guess, as it's just me uh, talking about different Saturday Night Live sketches. Sorry, but. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And now, can't even get these parts together. Something. Ah. Haha. <laughs> yes, I'm. Uh, forgot the polycap. I don't think that really is make, is the problem, but okay. Because those pieces, are, it says they're supposed to click. When you put them on. But. Ain't nothing clicking. And it's like keeps wanting to like not line up properly. Alright. What's the deal? I see where this piece is supposed to fit in there. I guess I just need to press it harder. Oh! 
Energy. Uh, babies. Uh, does the streamer keep the super chat money if YouTube is down? DeAndre, I don't know if DeAndre, if you're also watching on Twitch and you can hear me. Uh, I don't know if uh, your super chat money is going to actually end up going through or not. So that's a good question. Oh, you are on Twitch. Okay, good. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if the Super Chat's going to work or not. I appreciate it, as always. Um, I guess we'll find out. So, uh, having a little bit of an issue with this little part here, and I can't really see, I see exactly how the part is supposed to fit down into there, and according to the manual, it says it's supposed to click into place. But nothing's clicking, and it's not wanting to push into place. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, I, yeah, like, it just seems really tight. So, I guess I just had to push it, but like, pushing it real hard and it's not wanting to work. Any of you guys ever had this problem? Any of built, it's part of just like the wing frame, so any uh, match grade wing kits I would assume would have this same issue. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. So I don't want to touch that for the moment, so I'm just going to put in these parts over here. Uh, how much money do I get per bit on Twitch? Man, I have no idea about monetization on Twitch. I know, like... You guys uh, doing uh, bits or subscribing on Twitch or something like that uh, is monetization for me, but you know, honestly, I, I couldn't tell you. Fuck! There's no way it should be that hard to get this piece in there. What's wrong? I'm sure I'm doing this exactly right, like how it looks in the manual. What the hell? Alright, you. I said get in there. Damn. Oh, is YouTube working now? Let's see. Let me uh, refresh that. guys are saying YouTube is working now. Okay, that's cool. And it says, excellent connection. So, well, if any of you guys are just coming in, we're now 20-ish, 20 to 30 minutes into the stream. And not really having a good time with this uh, build so far. Stupid ass. Ah! One side clicked. <laughs> God, it's never ever coming apart if I once I once I get that on there. Fuck, god damn. About to bust out a hammer over here on this thing. He 
Need some protein. <laughs> I gotta get the gains. Then I can do it. It's kind of like in, but this part is not actually totally clicked into place yet, so... What am I gonna do? Let's uh, just put this part on here and just close that up. It's in there well enough, I guess, so. Cool. No more of that today, if possible. Please and thanks. guy here on top. And a neck piece on there. Uh you're at one one sliding the cockpit into the bottom piece with the center pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I w I'm totally sure I was pushing those pieces together exactly how you're meant to. It's just this little tab at the bottom here needs to poke out of there. That's what needs to click into place. And it's just like not not popping in there, you know. Uh, break the part and whip out the putty. Time for a custom belt action. Yeah, I mean. Damn, dude. There's no reason it should be that tough push that into place. All right, uh, let's say some, let's take a moment to say some hellos to everyone. So obviously, uh, Danjo, Hasaki, Reiji, Andrew, hello, Victor, uh, Howard, Nampu over there on Twitch, Asagi on Twitch, Firatha. I wanna shout out a bunch of people on Twitch because you guys have been hanging out uh, Pixel Ninja, Alex, uh, board, 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 I got it. Uh, Ricky Ba, you excited for upcoming announcements? Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have an HGUC Nightingale, possibly. Uh, let's see, the dogs. Uh, Jeff Connors over there on Facebook. Pedro, Min, Spidey, Miles, the Word. Uh, a bunch more. Uh, Amos, uh, saying YouTube is now, YouTube is, is working now, uh, Brendan, what's going on, Alibi, uh, James, uh, Gamers Laugh, <laughs> it's funny name, Okami, hello, hey guys, uh, all right. Uh, uh, RE100 Jin? Ooh, really? I haven't seen that yet, but that's, that'd be awesome. I've been waiting for a Jin kit and 100 scale. RE100 is alright. I would have thought Master Grade probably would have been the way they would have gone with that because they can make tons of variants of it, but. Alright, I mean, they can make variants of the. of the, uh. RE as well, too, I guess, but. And Howard says, YouTube is working in Puerto Rico. All right, there you go. So, yeah, uh, RG Hainu, really, that's crazy. Not really, I don't, I don't like, I don't know. Not that exciting for me. I'm not really that into it, but it'll be something, I suppose. Bandai's got their uh, heavy weapon set, heavy weapon system set already developed for the new so they can just adapt that to the high new as well too so if you guys uh, prefer the heavy weapon system version of the high new i would recommend don't get the kit straight away and wait for the heavy weapon system because you know it's going to be coming out All they have to do is just make some adjustments to the mold to make it to fit onto the high new instead of the new, like with the Master Grade kit, so 
It's only a matter of time, surely. Alright. Let's get these little guys in here. Speaking of the heavy weapon system, got the uh, new heavy weapon system uh, RG set there that's in my queue to build sometime in the near future. I was thinking about building that this week actually and I opted for this kit instead. So with this kit this week and then as I was talking about earlier, doing a whole bunch of uh, wing, doing wing week, wee wee next week. I guess the uh, heavy weapon system new Gundam RG kit will have to wait. There you go. <clears throat> All right. Uh, hi, Jack. I'm enjoying your broadcast a lot. Well, thank you. Uh, Zach, actually, is my name. Not Jack, but... Uh, HGAC Death Scythe. Oh, really? That was also announced? Oh, that's cool. Um, hey, guys, do you want to know how... Kits like the one Zaku is building are being made. Um, yeah. What? MG Versigo or Astron from Gundam X? What? Are you guys huh? Are you guys talking about like kits you want, or th this is something that was also announced? I don't think that was actually announced, right? There's no way they're making a MG Versigo. I mean. If they are, then that'd be cool. Oh, the kit you want for MG. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. Because, um. I guess, I mean, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the things you. One of the things you hear. Uh, or one of the things one of the th I've got some inside information as you might imagine doing what I do and uh, as far as I know there ain't no uh, MG anything from Gun of X coming out uh, whatever the next MG kit is I Cannot say. Uh, where can you find announcements for the latest Gunpla? Well, uh, you can watch my bi-weekly uh, Zaku News videos on the USA Gundam TV channel. You could do that. Uh, if you wanted it, your news like faster than bi-weekly, then uh, just Gundam Kits Collection is probably the best site for that. Just GundamKitsCollection.com very simple, easy. Um, there was what was the other one? Gundam Guy was another one that was uh, that was all the rage back in the day, but uh, it kind of went away, didn't it? What is it that happened with that? I remember hearing about like what happened to Gundam Guy, but basically. Uh... The, the whole, like, the website, like, he had a shop, too, as well, too, and, like, the shop just, like, disappeared or something as well, too, right? Uh, what do I imagine the MG Virtue will cost? The Virtue, yeah, it's 8,000 yen is probably a good guess around there, if not 9,000 even, possibly. Because what is the, what's the FAS? Whatever the FAS kit costs is probably going to be something close to that. Uh, yeah. Kasi, yeah. As as far as I know, it's pronounced Kasi, but I think that might might depend on your country of origin. What language? I like. I mean, like uh, in English, we would pronounce it as Kasi, as far as I know. Got a clear part there for the crotch. 
and meant to put a sticker on that. So let me get our stickers here. And tweezers, tweezers are over there. Let me go grab those too, because I want to close this door. Go on the heater. Have you seen the metal structure Sazabi? Yes, I have. I'm 0% interested in that. Way too expensive. Um, just in general, I'm not into figures at all. I much prefer to just build things myself. If it was a model kit, if that was like... Just like with the metal structure new, if that was coming out as a 160 scale like perfect grade instead of a figure, so if it was something you could actually build yourself, then I'd be a lot more interested in it, but... Just... Uh, as a super expensive figure, I'm just not interested whatsoever. Uh, plus, I don't really like the changes they made to the, the, the design. Like, just the general design of it, I'm just not, not feeling it. Let's see. Are these different now? Maybe. Uh, 12 and 10, they are. Oops. Let's see, 11. Oh, they're all different. Shoot. <laughs> these little, these little guys that go on the front and back skirts. I just kind of assume that they're all the same, but apparently they're all different, so I'll just have to try to get the one that looks right on there. Um, okay. I'm trying to buy the Death Scythe Hell Mini, it will arrive November 13th. What's the Mini? What does that mean? Does I thought Mini? Is that like a, you mean like a converged figure or something? off there. There you go, would it be good to put that on there. And this one here as well too. Um, this one. Pretty cool, the skirt armor is pretty cool. I like it. The way these parts fit together and like the they're like there's a frame part on the back, and then this part here that's actually showing is a separate piece. So if you wanted to paint that as a different color or something like that, it'd be much easier to do that rather than if the frame part on the back was all, and this part here on the front was just all one piece. The gray on the back there, if that makes sense. That's pretty cool. Um, that that doesn't look right. So I'm thinking that's uh, this one. I think I've got these kind of wrong. That one looks right, this one looks wrong. Okay. Who would have thought that these, that why they would have made these tiny pieces as like four different ones that fit slightly different? Why not just make them all fit exactly the same because they're such tiny little small pieces that you're going to get them confused. like yeah I guess when you're following the menu you could do not what I did and actually just uh, you know not cut out all the parts at once but just build the section slowly and according to the manual then you would not get anything confused but on but then when it comes like time to paint and you have to take the parts off then how are you gonna keep track of which one goes to which which skirt section 
have to like scribe with your scriber or knife or something, scribe a little like uh, Roman numeral in the back of each one. It's like that uh, Kotobukiya sometimes does that, but I don't think I've ever seen Bandai put any kind of marking on the inside of their parts. Because like for uh, Frame Arms Girl kits and stuff like that, sometimes they'll have a, a little L and R on the inside of the, on the, molded on the inside of the part so you can know which one is for the left and the right side. It's pretty cool. Either way you can not get anything mixed up. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that on a Bandai kit. Let's see, that goes like that. And that one in there, like so. Alright, let me see what's going on with you guys. I've been kind of ranting a bit while focusing on trying to build this, but... Uh, as always, guys... Uh, oh, you're talking about the Converge figure, maybe, with the, one, the guy was talking about the Mini. Uh, as always, guys... Oh, that's annoying. If you guys have questions for me directly, uh, tag me in your comment question or something so that I can pick it out easier from the chat. That would be useful. Um, hey! I'll also show you guys something cool here. Hang on just a second. If you guys want to see my Char... Cosval Colors Painted Beyond Global kit, this is done. I just haven't done a video on it yet. <laughs> uh, but if those of you guys who are uh, my Patreon supporters in my Discord, they've seen this, but otherwise, none of you guys have seen this yet. So there you go. I'll do an actual proper video on this soon enough, but there's my Beyond Global. My Cosval's Gundam Painted Beyond Global kit. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. It's not too bad. Glad I listened to your guys' advice on uh, choosing the Beyond Glo of choosing the Shars colors, Cosval's colors for the Beyond Global kit. Uh, some of you may remember I was kind of on the fence of what color scheme to go with for that version, and uh, glad I went with that. Uh, James King, what is your Discord? Uh, my Discord is part of my Patreon uh, kind of rewards, so you get access to that by just becoming a Patreon supporter. So you can just find my Patreon page, and yeah, it's just Zach Aurelius on Patreon, it's easy enough to find. Uh, Ramiro said, do the shoulder armor pop out easily? I'm having that problem. I'm not to the shoulder armor yet, but uh, when I get there, I'll let you know. So local type color for the entry grade. Uh, Ricky B, for the entry grade, no, um, uh, full armor colors, I'm thinking yes. The obviously version of the full armor without the full armor on, but it's still like you know, basically full armor colors. Do I have that book right here I could show you? I do. Yep. You guys will remember I did a review on this book. Let me find it quickly. Shouldn't be that hard to locate in here. I'll show you exactly what I mean, but that's what I'm thinking to do for the colors on the entry grade kit. It's white, green, and orange, basically. But where is the Gundam without the armor? I'm sure it's in here somewhere, but... I can't find it. I'm sure there's a picture of that in here. Doesn't really matter. I mean, you guys can you can find it easily enough, but and speaking of which, when are we ever gonna get an HGUC full armor Gundam? Come on, the full armor Gundam Seventh is a dope kit, and it's old. Just imagine like a proper new 
Nine E W. Full armor Gundam. Well, I don't know. I can't. I'm sure there's a must be a picture of it in here somewhere. The full armor Gundam without the armor. Strangely, here's a picture of the ground type without the armor. But anyway, uh, that's what I'm thinking for the entry grade because uh, for the perfect grade, I'm thinking to do rollout colors for the PG. So that will not be like included. That will not be included in the same set. I'm basically doing like the four, the four um, 144 scale kits as like a set. The PG will just be on its own, but I just don't want to do like all the same colors, or I don't want to do the same color scheme twice, and I don't want to do just the original colors. Ugh, gross. Alright, okay. I just had these pieces together, but I forgot a part, so I had to take them apart again, and now I'm trying to put them back together, and now the polycap is not fitting in there properly. Alright, you. That'll teach ya. Uh, Ninebreaker said, Thanks for shouting out Terry's fundraiser for Ben on Facebook. I was happy to find that and pitch in. Uh, it's a great. He met his goal in the Wound War print is gorgeous. Awesome. Yeah. Glad you guys could get that. I'm glad you guys could help out. You're very welcome. Uh, did you ever watch any of PewDiePie's stream of him building Gunpla? Uh, Sean, no, I didn't. I meant to. And uh, partially for kind of a vain reason of uh, I, someone mentioned that he had mentioned me in there. Because uh, uh, I had talked to him a while back when I sent him the, the kit that I made for him. Uh, I talked to him about, he had some questions about different Gundam kits that he was interested in and about painting so I talked to him a little bit about that uh, at the time but that was a, a while ago right and then he wasn't doing anything Gundam related for a while and like just recently he's building uh, some Gunpla again so uh, yeah apparently he mentioned something about me on his stream I guess probably related to our conversation but just out of curiosity I wanted to see what that was all about, uh, but yeah, no, I never, never took the time to watch any of those streams. Uh, 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 uh. He's building big nose. Huh? Huh? Uh, it's, it's a little boring from the waist down. Uh, this this kit, this uh, design, boring from the waist down. Uh, what part are you building? I'm confused. This is the leg, by the way. This is like the foot I was just starting on and then kind of got distracted. Um, but no, this goes onto here. Onto this kind of little thin part here for the spike for the foot. And that slides onto there, and that clips onto here for the toe. And this part fits over the top of that for the top of the foot. And then this little piece, wouldn't you know it, fits right on top of that. And then we also need a back of the foot as well to go along with the front. So what we're going to do for that is put this piece on the back of here, that fits on there like that. This one fits on the back of here, then like so, like that, very nice. So there's our foot. Woo! Don't poke yourself on that. Mm. Ricky B says he wishes we get more unicorn version MG kits. I'm going to assume that's a joke. PC eight and seven we're gonna need here soon enough as well too. Um, that's gonna go into the bottom of there, isn't it? But as for polycap number eight, going up here in the thigh part. 
Why does the foot look like it can kill you? Because it can. This is the god of death, don't you know? The edgiest Gundam of them all. Just one touch can kill you, no matter where you touch it. Actually, what what would be the edgiest Gundam? I feel like Death Scythe, like some version of the Death Scythe, definitely has to be like in the running. But like, what's another like really edgy Gundam design? Kind of like the Astray Noir kind of Epion. Mm, kind of. Uh, Dark Hound, yeah. Exia Dark Matter, uh, yeah, that's true. That's a good one. Exia Dark Matter, Dark Hound, yeah. Anything with dark in the name is <laughs> probably a good, good giveaway. Uh, Testament, Testament, yeah, mm, kind of. It, it's not. Uh, I feel like Testament is too brightly colored to be edgy enough. Let's see. Uh, Gold Astray, uh, Strike Noir, yeah. Master Gundam? No! Speedball Haro, no. Don't you say that about my Master Gundam. I love the Master Gundam. It's not edgy. It's just cool. It's got like... big like clown ears or something like that on his head. It's kind of... I'm not sure what's going on there. But, no, I love the Master Gundam. That was like uh, playing, uh, what's that game? Gundam. Dynasty Warriors Gundam, that's what it is, thank you. Dynasty Warriors Gundam, maybe two and or three. I don't know, I didn't play the first one very much, but I played two and three a lot. Playing Dynasty Warriors Gundam, I loved using uh, Master Gundam. It was probably the one that I used the most often. Let's see, that and... What else? What else did I use a lot in Dynasty Warriors Gundam? Um, Epion, I think, actually. Uh, speaking of Epion, I, I think that was another one that I used quite a lot as well, too, actually. Epion. Yeah. And... Uh... Uh-oh. How can I tell what's up and down on this? Okay, the smaller ball should be on the top. Uh, one of my favorite Gundam games. Yeah, I mean... It's it's kind of mindless. Like, just slash slash game. That, that type of game. But it's fun. It's just fun. Just like playing your favorite Gundams. Just mowing down loads of grunts. Doing all their special moves and all that. It was a good time. Yeah, I enjoyed those games a lot. Uh, Heavy Arms Endless Waltz version, the blue one. Yes, Daniel, yes, that's the one that I'll be building uh, next week. So yeah, among, I'll, uh, maybe I'll put a, up a poll or something like that. Among the kits that I'll be building next week for Wee Wee, um, I won't live stream build all of them, but maybe just like one of the, th the three. So maybe I'll, I'll put out a poll which one you guys wanna, are going to want to see the Heavy Arms Ultron or the uh, Wing Alba. Hoi. That's supposed to be in there like that. Okay. Says to put says to put these parts together like that first, but there's not actually anything that holds them together. I feel like you could just put this on here first. Couldn't you? But now it's like not fitting. Couldn't I? Why is that so tight? 
い。あ、do you watch m e k a i t s o z a k u I'm assuming you're talking about m e k a g a i k o t s u Not regularly, sometimes. That isn't meant to push on there all the way. Okay, that's why.、Um, yeah, occasionally I do.、Uh, like、not that much. Ooh, what? Why is that not going on there? I don't really watch that much、uh, Gumpla related stuff on YouTube in general. So it's not like I watch other reviewers but not him. I just don't really watch that much. Anyway, maybe. Damn. Maybe some other people will, will tell you differently, but I feel like probably a lot of like, content creators on YouTube. Whatever kind of content they're making, they probably don't watch a lot of that same kind of content. Because that's what they're making all day long. They don't really need to then go and watch a bunch more. But, like, a little bit, you know, now and then can just like help you kind of know just what other people are doing, what, what,、uh, what's going on in the community, like that. So, you can kind of like help to stay up to date with. What other people are doing, but I don't、uh, really watch a lot of Gunpla stuff on YouTube. This part's、um, also kind of annoying how this goes on to here. It's like also not really fitting on there quite right. I'm having a bit of、uh, trouble with that. Let's see. That's. And again, it's just like with the torso piece that I was struggling with at the start, I can see exactly how it's supposed to fit on there. But for whatever reason, it's just like a little bit too tight. It feels like it's a problem with the ABS frame with this kit, honestly. It feels like some of the tolerances on the ABS parts are just not right. Uh, how much is Gundam there?、Mm, it, I mean, it depends.、Uh, prices for Gunpla here are pretty much the same as in Japan. It's like, this is like looking at the manual and the illustration for this, this is exactly right how this is supposed to be in here. And it's meant to just fit right over the knee. No big deal, just fit right on there. But it's still, see that gap there? That's not supposed to have that big gap here. So we'll take it off and put it back on, take it off and put it back on until it's fitting right, until we can figure out what's the problem. As far as I can tell, there's nothing impeding. The fit here. So. <laughs> Beats me. Uh, have you seen any of the Gonna Build Fighters Divers anime build? Uh, fighters and、uh, Build Fighters, yes, I watched all of Build Fighters Try. I think I finished all of that as well, too, I believe. Build Divers, no, I've not watched any Build Divers. Or Build Divers, you guys. <sighs> like, Build Divers Season 1, I think I watched a couple of episodes, maybe at the start.、Um, Build Divers Re Rise, I, I haven't watched anything. Every time people will say, oh, it's not that bad, give it, a, give it a try. It's better than Build Divers. Nah. I don't know.
need to get one of the like a t-shirt or like a license plate thing you know like how people have like the license plate uh, frames that say like i'd rather be fishing or something like that I need to get one of those that just says i'd rather be building would you guys wear that on a t-shirt should i make that into a t-shirt and put it on my t-shirt shop would you guys buy that know if they are going to release a new version of the Gundam Death Scythe HG. Uh, I would assume so, yes. They made the Sand Rock, they made the Heavy Arms, so probably they're going to make a new HG Death Scythe as well too, probably uh, early to middle of next year, I would assume. Really middle of next year, I guess. Depends on the design. Yeah, if it was a hoodie, almost forgot this was live and kept building. Oof. All right. Anyway, let's get this other leg built. Uh, when is that V2 Assault Buster game built? Top 5 MGs for me personally built like 5 of them. Uh, yeah, it's in the queue, so when I can, get around to that. That was also kind of like for this week, I was kind of on the fence either building this kit or the RG new heavy weapon system or the uh, the w wing or not the wing uh, the uh, v2 assault buster that was also between like those three kits was what I was considering building this week and I ended up on the death scythe so and then building the death scythe made me think to do a whole week of more wing mg kits so the other two kits will have to wait a little bit more Where's uh, my piece? Here you are. Uh, Tenko Wolf asks, what is your favorite Zaku? Hmm. Well, without going too far down the rabbit hole of all the different Zaku variants and things like that, uh, the easy answer for me would be the Zaku 2 F2 would be my favorite uh, kind of standard Zaku variant. I love the F2 design. And the new, are the new kit announcements like tomorrow or next month? I don't know what date format they use. Uh, I would assume they're tomorrow, because uh, if there's like leaked pictures of like the display, uh, then if they're already on display, then that means they're they're like set to be shown probably like within the next day or so. That's a funny point on the date format, though, yeah. I guess because in uh, America we do it kind of different from other places in the world. And other countries, too. Other, other, lots of countries choose to do it one way or the other, right? So, let's see. Then that's on here. And 
So can you tell me where you can find good Gundam online? Uh, Joel, to answer your question where you can find good Gundam online, if you're talking about model kits, then of course I'll have to tell you USA Gundam Store. But it depends on where you are in the world. If you're not in the US or not even close to the US, then uh, that might not be the best option for you. Even if you're not in the US, if you are close, if you're in Central or South America, you can still order from there, so that is an option. Really kind of like just cruising along here without looking at the manual, but I think I'm doing all right. You know, after you built one, the second one's easy enough. Pretty straightforward standard design here for this as well too, so not that complicated. This is one of those MGs too that has a load of detail on the underside of the armor. Kind of interesting when they do that. I don't really see the point of it. It's cool, I guess, to notice whilst building the kit, but once the kit is all built, I mean like putting detail on like the inner frame is one thing, but detailing on the underside of the armor just seems like kind of why? And it's cool. I don't know how you're ever going to possibly like, appreciate that. There we go. There's the second leg, which probably took like a quarter of the time that it took to build the first leg. That's how it goes. That's in place. And these side skirts, I think, are going to be a problem. Because it seems like the way that they're designed uh, when you need to, they're like this, and you need to push it onto that ball joint, but pushing it onto the ball joint basically pushes these pieces apart. So you, if you push that too hard, you push that through there, basically you're pushing, separating the inner frame part from the armor part, and that's going to make it just fall off there. So I think these side skirt bits are going to be a little bit touchy. You have to be a little careful with those, but there's our big spiky shoes and uh, with that I want to take a break from it I'm gonna go get something to drink here uh, uh, what do you do when you're done with a Gundam Joel uh, just goes back in the box to hang out until I can get around to painting it basically all right hang on just a moment please I'll be back in just a couple of minutes
Oh, there we go. That's the right one. Okay. MGEX Kshatriya, Ricky B. It's like buying a lottery ticket. <sighs> Can you show us Unit 2, the RG kit, please? I miss it, and I like Unit 2. Uh, Joel, I assume you're talking about the Evangelion Unit 2, in which case it's back in the back room. Uh, not easy to get to at the moment. Well, not difficult, but... Uh, Pak Tan saying uh, MGX is for people who don't customize, who just snap build and then pay out the ass for it. I'm, uh, I take your point that it's too expensive. Definitely, I wouldn't make that assessment though, considering we only have one e MGX kit out so far. It's kind of uh, hard to kind of make that assessment about the line uh, that it's for people who don't customize, you could certainly customize. Bend, I even put out a, a tweet the other day kind of advertising how you can customize the MGEX by using parts from the full Master Grade Full Armor Kit, something we all already knew, but just to see that actually advertised by Bandai as well too. So I know that's not necessarily customizing as much as just like a, not even kit bashing, it's like just part swapping sort of basically, just using, you're able to use parts from the full armor of her cockhead on the MGEX. But I mean, there's no reason you couldn't customize the MGEX kit. Uh, obviously there's, you're limited if you want to keep the, the LED sheet feature of it. Yeah, you're a little bit more limited than you would be if you're using just like the regular MG for Ka, but. Anyway, uh, let's see, over 9,000? What does that mean? What, what are we over 9,000? Accessorizing? Yeah, I guess that's a good word for it. Yes, Daniel. Accessorizing it. Bandai will definitely milk the Sazabi and a new for MGEX. Yeah, I mean, still. Still don't really know what the next MGEX is going to be. It's a very, well, actually, should say we don't know uh, as in like the old overall we I actually do have a good idea what the and next one is going to be but I cannot tell you guys sorry uh, let's see Juan saying Duncan for life and I hope one you're talking about slim Duncan aka one of my favorite all-time rappers rest in peace Slim Duncan, cut down in his prime, and definitely, I mean, that's, I'm not making a joke about that, that is true. Uh, <laughs> I think, and any other fellow Slim Duncan fans out there, I'm sure would agree that that's a rapper who had a lot of potential, and it's really a shame that he was killed. But I assume you're talking about uh, Dunkin' Donuts, which is also good, but uh, I'll take any opportunity I can to spread the good word of my man, Slim Duncan. If you guys don't know, if you guys are into, like if you're fans of like Waka Flocka Flame, that was who basically uh, Slim Duncan came up from being friends with Waka. If you're fans of like that kind of uh, I say uh, what's the word? My brain's not working today. Uh, trap. Thank you. Trap. Hip hop. Uh, then yeah. Go to, uh, I mean, I don't know, probably don't need to tell this to you guys, but 
If any of you are unfamiliar with the site and if you're curious or if you're just if you like hip hop and you have not ever heard of datpiff.com then go to datpiff. It's the site I use. I think there's other uh, sites similar to that piff out there and if you guys know any I'd be uh, happy to hear about any other options from you guys I usually always just use that piff but uh, go to that piff dot com and just search slim Duncan and download like a, some mixtapes or something I'm telling you can you notify me when we are in the scythe? I don't want to miss it. Uh, well, we're building the arms now, and then the head, and then the wings, and the scythe will be kind of last, so probably in about an hour from now, I would say. It's likely. Don't hate, but I'm a fan, a big fan of to anyone. Tenko Wolf, I will hate because I will not tolerate any K pop stands in my live streams. Sorry, bro. K pop is not cool. Imagine the Steven Crowder change my mind meme, but just with the sign that just says K-pop is not cool and no change my mind part at the bottom because my mind will not be changed. And trust me, it may be cool from the outside, but come live in Korea and then see if you still think it's cool. You you might, if you think it's cool outside of Korea, but I don't know. Living here and like seeing the effect that the whole culture has on people, nah. No thank you. It's not good. Uh, isn't the Gundam Expo stream in just a couple minutes? Is it? Well, sorry to be streaming at the same time as the Gundam Expo stream. Sorry to do that to you guys. I guess if you, if you want to bounce and go watch that, I understand. But I mean, you know, so you're just seeing something live that then you're gonna see plastered all over Facebook for the next week anyway, so. It's not like if you hang around here then you're gonna miss it entirely. So don't don't leave and go watch that, just stay here and just keep hanging out. Bandai doesn't need you like I need you. And someone was asking earlier about the uh, shoulder armor popping out or something, and as far as I can tell so far, I'm not really noticing anything that is going to be an issue or anything, so I don't, I don't foresee anything like that being a problem. Uh, Ramiro watching both streams, what an absolute mad lad. I guess especially if you don't understand Japanese, then Probably, I mean, you can be listening to me and watching the uh, the live stream there of the Gundam Expo, I guess. Not really missing out on too much. Uh, Boom Cannon likes my chill videos. Thank you, Boom Cannon. I like making chill videos as well, too. Uh, I saw your messer, uh, David says, I saw your messer at USA Gunnam Store the other day, it looked amazing, I had to find the kit myself and it will arrive uh, Friday. Well, I'm glad you were able to find, well, thank you for your uh, compliments on my build, I appreciate that. Uh, I'm glad you were able to find a messer to buy because apparently, like, uh, I think USA Gunnam Store is still sold out and there's no sign of a 
restock of Messer coming anytime soon, so it's kind of a shame that Bandai, <clears throat> excuse me, that Bandai didn't really have enough Messer to go around, apparently. And I think they're probably more concerned at the moment on other stuff, getting the new MG out, getting the new PG out. They probably don't have a whole lot of resources to devote to uh, doing another run of the Messer. So I'm sure they will probably uh, next year, but how early or late into next year is to be determined. I will say though, I saw someone posted a picture of my Messer on display there at USA Gundam Store, and I'll have to speak with Adam about the posing of it, because this posing is not quite right. Uh, it looks a bit goofy, but it's okay. I'm, I'm just a stickler on that. That's one problem that I have, like, uh, pretty much anything that I uh, paint, any kit that I paint, <clears throat> uh, I either sell or give away. And on that note, uh, speaking of the MGEX, the, my MGEX painted build I've not sold yet, so if any of you guys are interested in buying that, get at me. Uh, I mentioned it in the video, but it was like way at the end of the video, so I think I should have mentioned it earlier. I think probably a lot of people maybe pieced out towards the end of the video and didn't hear that it's for sale, possibly, but um, yeah, my MGX is for sale, but uh, any kit that I paint, I always uh, either give away or sell, and it always makes me a little bit sad to then see like when they get to their new home and they're on display and they're, the pose is kind of wrong and just awkward looking it makes me feel a little bit a little bad I'm gonna be honest so if any of you guys ever happen to own a kit by me whether it's something that I've gifted to you or you've bought from me or something like that please take the time to pose it nicely it makes me sad to see my boys go off to sad fates like that. Uh, Joel, I can send you the Gundam I want to. I will build where can I send it to you. Um, if you're talking about some some kit that you just want to give to me, it's like as a gift or something like that, then that's fine. I'll, I'll take it and either obviously build it or use it for a giveaway or something like that. Just recently, not too long ago, a very sweet fellow uh, sent a big box of kits. And so I've got a bunch of kits to do for a giveaway for you guys. I need to get that organized because I want to do that as like a Christmas thing. And if it everything's going to arrive by Christmas. I need to get those sent out soon. So uh, I'll do that probably next week. So watch out next week for a big giveaway. Got a bunch of big box of kits to give away. So watch out for that. Um, but uh, if you're wanting to send me a kit that you like want me to build for you, either as like a commission or you just want me to just like snap build it for you and send it back or something like that, I don't do that. Commissions, I do sometimes, but I'm not doing any commissions at the moment. But just you sending me a kit and I just build it for you and then send it back to you is not something that I do. I have done that once, uh, but it was under, but it was, uh, uh, what's it, extreme circumstance? I didn't know that's not right. And it was, uh, anyway, under circumstances where it was someone else living here in Korea. Uh, So that's kind of different circumstances, not where I'm having to ship anything internationally or anything like that. It's the only time where I've ever just snap built something for someone. Uh, let's see. They just showed off the PG next to the KC. Oh, that's cool. I'll have to watch the playback later on. After this, uh, I'm thinking, well, let's see. Anyway, later today I should have some time hopefully. And at that point, yeah, I'll uh, check out the live stream. Let's see, that goes into there. 
these little ding-dongs need to fit into here. And if any of you guys ever build this kit, whether it's this kit or just the regular kit, not the rosette unit, but just the regular standard release version of this kit, be very careful with this piece for like the front half of the head, this white piece. It seems very, very easily broken. The way that it's held on there, the way the pieces are held on. And you have to like cut the nubs on these side parts where it seems like you could very easily snap off the part for the side of the face. And even now I'm just like just handling it, I'm trying to be really careful with it because this just seems like a very delicate part the way they molded it. If you've ever built this kit or ever planned to build this kit, just uh You'll know what I'm talking about. But there we go. Now for the head. Uh, we got a, a couple of stickers. I meant to put on the stickers for the eyes. <laughs> a little bit late for that, but let me go ahead and try to put these on anyway. See if I can get this sticker in here. Now that everything is all actually already put together. Maybe a little bit of a challenge, I think, maybe, but... If I can work it up into there, might be okay. There we go. Yeah, just get that little bit tucked up in there. Eh, a little bit, a little bit off center, but that'll do, pig. All right, on the front camera, sticker E. And the back camera would also be sticker E, apparently, they're the exact same size. Doesn't actually seem like a proper fit to that space, but okay. And our head jewel. Ta -da! There we go. So. None of this is new at this point. Now we're getting to the backpack where it's all entirely new. And I was hoping that this kit would include uh, all the backpack parts to make the original backpack if you wanted to, but it doesn't include any parts from the original backpack. Well, nothing that you could use to make it. Anyway, so uh, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? I really kind of would have assumed that they, all those parts were, would have just been in there to make the original version if you want. But. Interestingly not. Okay. Will you be building the P-Bandai MG Testament when it's released? Uh, Kale, no. I, I passed on the Testament. Uh, I thought about it a lot, but I thought, yeah. I mean, it's a cool design. I kind of like it just as a design, but just as far as like building it. I built the Dragon Momoko version, and that was enough for me. I did like the look of Bandai's version. I think there was kind of pros and cons to them. Definitely, I think ultimately Bandai's version probably looks better, in my opinion. But, yeah, I just uh, decided to pass on that one. Any color scheme ideas for your Mechatro Mac K build? Ian Henry, that's a good question. I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> I have an idea, yes. I, I want to do it in, uh, even though it's mostly the Cooster, right, just with Mechatro arms, but I think like to to play into the Mechatro portion of the design, I want to uh, I want to do it in kind of like Mechatro colors. So I have some Mechatro paints from Gaia Notes. Gaia Notes has a line of Mechatro paints, so I'm thinking of using some Mechatro paints on it. And I've been on the fence whether I want to hand paint it, like Machine and Krieger style hand painting, or uh, just airbrush it. And I'm thinking like I'm maybe going to just airbrush it. I think. Uh, for this one. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So, alright. Bunch of parts here for the backpack, obviously. 
Did I hear? Uh, good night from Brazil, uh, Batuta. Good night to Brazil. Yes, it does look just wrong uh, without the black head for the death side. Oh, the, the death side's head is typically black. I don't know. Don't pay attention enough. Spec Gaming asked, "Do you like fish?" I don't like fish all that much, to be honest. I did have fish last night, though, but just a little bit. Uh, for dinner, we had it like panjang. I don't know. You guys are familiar like with Korean food, where you have like a bunch of side dishes? One of our side dishes was fish. The other one was dokkalbi, uh, which I ate. I had a lot more duck abi than fish. Action base adapter, don't need that at the moment. What I need is a couple of little pieces that I can't seem to find. This one, like this. You guys see any more pieces like this one? Here's one more. There should be four of them because we had to build this section twice. There's another one. And our final one is hiding under there. Okay. Uh, quick, quick land. Do you like Fish the Band? No, I, I, you know, I don't know even know if I've ever heard, I'm sure I've probably have heard some Fish music in my life at some point, but I wouldn't be able to tell you what it sounds like at all. It's just, no. I think the other reason why I'm having a bad day today is because I'm sad that I couldn't play Genshin Impact last night. <laughs> I think I mentioned this on another, maybe, when was that? I don't know. Sometime recently I also mentioned about this, that recently I've started playing Genshin Impact on mobile, on my phone. Uh, and kind of really the only time I have to play it is just like at night in bed. Just like, uh, so I'm usually playing like for an hour. When I get into bed, I'll play for an hour or so like before I sleep. Uh, and last night, the game just had an update. So last night, uh, I laid down and I was like, all right, finally, gonna get a chance to play. And it's like, oh, got to update. And then I fell asleep while it was updating, so I couldn't play. So I woke up, and then like I just kind of like naturally woke up like 30 minutes later, and like the update was done. I was like, oh, I'm already kind of like asleep now, so I guess I'll just won't play. It was, I was sad. Uh, I'm enjoying it, uh, just for just uh, exploring around, just going around. I'm like, I you know I'm uh, I'm not playing in like any sort of like hardcore gamer type of way at all. I'm just like playing very chill, just going around. I'm doing uh, I'm on AR. 18 now, so that should give you a sense of how far along I am in the game. If any of you guys who, who play it, I'm on AR 18, and yeah, just kind of just enjoying, you know, I'm doing the little quests and things here and there, but for the most part, just kind of, uh, yeah, just kind of enjoying exploring around. Finding all the chests, finding all the little nooks and crannies in the world here and there. I love just a big, nice, pretty open world to explore. It's fun. Uh, the Blue Griffins I play on PS4. Yeah, uh, I assume it's probably you know a little bit different experience. Uh, I also don't. I think I it was at level 15 or 16 is when you unlock the ability to play co-op. I'm not playing anything co-op or anything online. I, I don't think I will at all. I usually don't like that. I'll just play by myself, but. Uh, do you play Evangelion Battlefields? No, I think I remember seeing something about that. Is that a mobile game? I don't know. 
Um, I think I re remember seeing something about that, but uh, I never got into playing that, no. Never really looked into it. Let's see. So those sections are done. Then we need this big section here. It's around somewhere. I do have the uh, wing Verka, which would be cool to pull that out and just uh, compare, see how the wings compare side by side. Uh, but I'm not sure where that kit is at the moment. I think I have it back here in the kind of closet. Anyway, yeah. Genshin Impact. It's, it's, it's fun. I'm enjoying it. So tonight... Tonight I'm gonna play two hours to make up for not being able to play last night. I just can't... Can't justify uh, playing like during the day. Because like uh, the other, the only other like game that I play at all is uh, the Gundam mobile game. Build, build, uh, what's that? Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. Ever? Yes, I'm still playing that. I know a lot of people have kind of given up on that game. Uh, I'm just kind of basically still playing it just to keep collecting the stuff as it's coming out. So I'm still playing that like a little bit each day. But that's the that game is one where I can just like log on and just play like 10 minutes or something like that just to kind of do what I need to do to uh, use my energy and get what I need to get uh, but Genshin Impact is, is not a game that I can just uh, get on there and play for just like 10 minutes and then stop uh, once I get once I get exploring around you know it's hard to stop so, effect is a double pack with the Penelope. The Kasi with the funnel effects is a double pack with the Penelope. You have to buy another Penelope in order to get that. What? What? Unless we get a lot for six. Oh yes. Huh? Ah, okay, you mean the effect parts? It's like a effect parts for the Cassie and effect parts for the Penelope together. For 6,600 yen. What? Yeah, it's 1,700. What? 17,000 yen? What? 100,000 yen? For two HGs and effect parts? What? I mean, yeah, they're big HGs, but... Man, that's dumb. Well, guess I won't be getting the effect parts then. Sorry guys, really don't care to build another uh, Penelope Gundam. That's dumb. Yeah, what about for all people? It's like. If it's like a smaller HG or something, I can understand, but for such a big, massive HG, if there's anyone who's like already got the kit, is there anyone who's really going to want to buy a big, massive HG Penelope again just to get those effect parts for that? That's kind of... Nah. Nah, son. Nah. Bandai goofing again. Well, 
So, I guess in uh, next Monday's episode of Zaku News on the USA Gundam TV channel, we'll have a lot of stuff to talk about, and that's good. Past, uh, past number of episodes, there really hasn't been a whole lot of news. So it'll be nice to actually have some news to talk about for a change. I'll have to check that out. I guess uh, what we can do, if you guys want, is once I'm finished building, we can do some live reaction. I'll just pull it up here. We can check it out together, uh, see what all the announcements are. I don't know where will be the best source to do that, but we can sort it out and we can uh, just share some initial thoughts here once we get this guy all built up and then I'll do like a you know, proper video later on on uh, Monday. That'll be Monday on the USA Gundam TV channel. I'll do my actual news video talking about everything, but... Alright, so then just hang tight. Let's finish up the, this guy first then. Then we'll uh, check out that stuff. Alright. Um... There's that. And this one on here. And cover that up. There you go, this is the center part of the backpack. Thruster bells. On there. Then we got these pieces, which are slightly different. Uh, that goes onto here. Click like that. A clickety click. And this will not that one. Uh, where to go? This one. That will fit onto here, like that, and this one on the back, and this in here. Here, I love the the backpack. This like uh, yellow vent section at the top of the backpack. The regular kit has this uh, as well too, but for this version, I'm glad they kept that aspect of the backpack as well with the wings. So there's that. That connection for the wings doesn't seem that strong, but uh, hopefully it'll be okay. Let's say, did you push that on there more? No, I think that's it. So. Okay. Um, other wing will go on here. And this one on here. Uh, Azariel. Azariel, hi. Azariel. Is that the Azariel? Is that one of the Evangelion angels? No, it's different, right? Az Azuril? It's, it's with it's A Z U, isn't it? Azuril. Spelling's a little different, right? Right. Peace out, man. Hope you have a better rest of the day. Kale, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I do too. I, you know, we'll see. Hopefully, uh, the rest of the day I can finish up my priming. Yeah, let me work work on the review for this guy. We'll see. Get some lunch. All right, there's the wings. Very cool. They're pretty much, I mean, uh, like the two, the left and the right side are pretty much identical. The only difference is that the front has a little bit more white on it, whereas the back side is just more dark like that. This piece is uh, dark blue on the back, light on the front. Otherwise, they're 
uh, on the same on the front and back. So, small difference there. That fits onto the back. And there you go. It looks cool. When I, uh, I mentioned this before, uh, at some point in time in history, I can't remember when I was talking about this, but uh, when this kit was first announced, I I thought about it and I just I just kind of passed on it, and um, so when the pre-orders for this kit came up here on the P Bandai site here on the Bandai Korea website for where we can order P Bandai stuff here, um, I just kind of passed on it the first time around. But then when it came up for pre-order again, I thought, yeah, it's pretty cool. I got to admit. So I'll check it out. And I've never built any regular uh, Master Grade Death Scythe. Um, so I thought, well, it's a good chance to just kind of check out a Master Grade Death Scythe. And uh, just happens to be the P-Bandai version. So kind of, I did the same thing for the, um, the Shenlong. Right? I built the Shenlong Liaoyu unit and basically just kind of served as a kind of just general review of the Shenlong because I hadn't ever yet reviewed the regular Shenlong kit. So same thing with this one. This review can serve as a review just for the death site as a whole. It's an MG kit, so. Go. So there's our scythe, and the effect part will fit into there. It's a pretty cool looking effect part, definitely. Looks nice, very big. And I just need to build the buster shield. Also, really love the design of the buster shield. It's a very cool design. So the uh, the death scythe is kind of um, it's like with uh, what was the other kit the uh, mm, sorry I'm having a moment uh, the uh, Buster uh, the not the Buster uh, the Buster as well too the dual assault shroud. MG dual kind of assault shroud kit it was another kit that uh, I always thought looked cool, but it, I never I didn't never really build it for a long time. I finally got around to building it, and I was really happy I, I finally did because I finally had the chance to see for myself just how cool it is. I always thought it looked cool, but you know, you can never really know for sure how much you like it until you build it for yourself. So, I feel like this is another one of those where I always thought it looked pretty cool, but you know, never really. Got around to ever building one for myself, and now that I have, it's dope. Let's cook it. All right. So there's our claws, and this part goes on the top of here, and this white part goes on the bottom like that that's gonna go on the top hold on Let's see okay that's right that goes on here it looked like that was not right I was concerned but I think that's right and then this just goes on to here on to here Oof. Wait a minute. What? Ah. There's a left and the right side. That's weird. Okay. They're different. I don't know why. They plug on there differently. That's strange. Okay. Uh, and this is a connection piece for connecting the scythe to the backpack. This is the connection piece for the shield. So what if you want to have, like, uh, does this shield... Uh, shoot off the arm like the Death Scythe Hell. Oh, yeah, they kind of open at the same time. Uh, the Death Scythe, it was the regular Death Scythe or the Death Scythe Hell where the Buster Shield shoots off the arm. I think that's the regular Death Scythe, right? That's all that opens up? Ah, okay, I thought this would open up more, but that's uh, apparently. 
And we do have the effect part for that as well too. Let me see. Which is here. Plugs onto the bottom of there like that, so. Is that meant to be just like that kind of, or opened up like that? Like this? In or out? Oops, well, anyway. There it is, y'all. What do you think about that? Couple of leftover poly caps. Don't need those. All right. Let's let's get right into the news. Ugh. Ugh. Can you review the Impulse Gundam Lancier? I already did review that kit ages ago when it came out. I love that kit. The HG Lancier and the HG, the pair of those kits, I really, really like, actually. So let me bring you guys in a little bit closer, a little bit more intimate while we check out the news. Uh, let me pull up a good news site for us. Where should we check? Um, I can assume that Ricardo is maybe posting a lot of stuff on his page. Shout out to Ricardo if you're watching live. I don't think he is. He sometimes does, but I haven't seen him in the chat today. Ricardo, are you there? Uh, Silver Gumpla. Ricardo? I don't think he's watching live. Was it, was, wasn't it? Was it Silver Maverick before or something like that? And he just changed it to Silver Gumpla or something? Maybe because of the whole Paul Brothers thing, you wanted to lose the Maverick part. Anytime I see anything Maverick now, I'm just thinking of, is it, is it Jake Paul or Logan Paul that is the Maverick merch? Anyway, stupid. Latest news without uh, pulling a bend in any of my videos anymore. Damn. Oh, uh, well, let's see. You might not have much choice. I might not really be able to look at it for now. All the announcements being too new, I think uh, it seems like um, not going to be able to have anything really too much to see other than the live stream video. So yeah, this uh, Satchel just said they just finished the live stream. so. If the live stream is all we really have to look at at the moment, then I'll probably just wait and maybe not do any live reactions with you guys now because I don't really have anything else to look at. Uh, Choco Falcon, try refreshing. Refreshing the Gundam info page? Um, info. I don't know if they're really going to have much on there, probably. Um. Is YouTube drunk? Is YouTube off again? Or frozen or something? Or what? What's going on with YouTube? They mostly showed off the Cassie and the PG. Well, it would be cool to see the PG. But let me see here. Um, on the English Gundam Info page, there's nothing. I searched Gun of Info and it's giving me the Korean site first, obviously, because I'm in Korea, and then the English site because I'm searching in English. But I want the Japanese site. Brr. Can I say that I only get three MGs a year? Uh, Robbie, yeah, three MGs a year, yeah. A little bit sad. Better than zero, I guess, right? So. Let me give a refresh here on Gundam Kits Collection. If nothing really pops up, then I think we'll just, yeah. We're not right up for today. I think there's not really gonna be too much to look at at the moment other than the live stream. So I'll wait till some more photos and stuff get posted and then uh, it's already Thursday. So Monday is just right around the corner. 
where I'll be doing the new news video once again on the USA Gundam TV channel. So just uh, if you guys would be so kind, check out uh, the USA Gundam TV YouTube channel. Just subscribe there, and that's where I'm doing the news videos now. And uh, also, if you were a fan of the Quick Luke videos, which I don't do on my channel anymore, I'm still kind of doing them uh, basically the same kind of thing. They are now just posting those on the USA Gundam TV channel. So if you like those type of just quick spinning videos, there's those as well, as well too. But yeah, just for the news videos, check out the USA Gundam TV channel. Um, so I'll cover all that stuff on Monday, I guess, once we got some more photos. Uh, for now, we'll wrap it up for today. It is 12 o'clock noon here. I'm going to grab some lunch, work on some stuff, and try to have a better rest of the day than the morning got off to be. But, uh, let's see, YouTube was hammered. <laughs> I put my Facebook. And it's far, okay. Should stop taking down for a Okay, well, I don't know. Anyway what's going on with YouTube, but hopefully they get that sorted out. For now, guys, glad you glad it was able to get streaming a little bit, and I hope the, uh, hope the video quality is noticeably better for you guys. Like I said earlier, uh, I'm actually plugged into an Ethernet cable today rather than just using, uh, rather than just using uh, Wi-Fi. So hopefully the video quality is noticeably better for you guys today. I don't know if it is or not, but uh, the real test, I think, will be doing a, like a live stream with someone, with Josh or with Adam on the next live stream. We'll see how much better it does, uh, and, uh, not freezing up or anything like that. So we'll see. Anyway, let me know. Uh, all right, guys. Have a good rest of the day, night, wherever you are. I'll catch you all later. Thanks for hanging out today. See you next time.